वेलकम टू बी एस सी स्टैटिस्टिक स्टूडेंट्स इन दिस लेसन एक्सप्लाइन एफेक्ट ऑफ चेंज ऑफ ऑरिजन एंड स्केल ऑन मोमेंट्स इन वन पर्टिकुलर क्लास आई एक्सप्लाइन आई हैव एक्सप्लाइन what is the concept of shifting the origin and scale what is the concept of shifting the origin and scale for which uh, i explained uh, by taking some particular variable x and have subtracted a which is an indication of uh, shifting the origin x minus a and i have considered h which is an indication x minus a by h which is an indication for both shifting the origin and scale if you divide with a number the scale will be shifted if you subtract with a number from all the values then origin is going to be shifted so this is the concept of shifting the origin and scale now if you if you do this if you do this that is if you shift the origin and scale how the moments are going to be affected moments in the sense we study for non central and central moments both so for which now i consider ui is equal to some xi minus a by h so for whatever or whichever the concept if you want to go on study the shifting the origin and scale that is what is the effect of shifting the origin and scale then what then you have to consider this ui is equal to xi minus a by h i have consider ui is equal to xi minus a by h because of in the moments we have only one variable i have considered this from which i am calculating xi minus a is equal to h into ui clear and from this now we can calculate ui is equal to xi minus a xi is equal to a plus h into ui okay this is enough to for, for calculation of non central moments for central moments we have x bar so i am calculating x bar x bar is equal to a plus h into u bar so therefore now what i do i calculate xi minus x bar xi minus x bar is equal to h into a will get cancel if you subtract these two values xi minus x bar a minus a will be zero h into ui minus h into u bar that is if you take a common as h then ui minus u bar this is what the concept of h into ui minus u bar x i minus x bar will be now first of all i consider non central moments shifting the that is the, what is the effect of change of origin and scale uh, on non central moments for non central moments non central moments if we consider the non central moments in which uh, the formula i consider mu r dash this is the formula for mu r dash for the variable x remember you have to remember the concept of mu r dash or the non central moments for the variable x that is this xi okay what is the formula it is 1 by capital n summation i is equal to 1 to n fi into xi minus a the whole power r that is what uh, mu r dash formula in which i uh, am substituting xi minus a is equal to h into ui you take this value xi minus a is equal to h into ui you substitute here 
it is 1 by capital N summation I is equal to 1 to N F I into H into U I whole power R. This is H. So now you see H power R I am taking outside of the summation because it, it is a constant does not depend on summation I is equal to 1 to N. Hence, I am taking outside h power r multiplied by 1 by n summation i is equal to 1 to n f i into u i power r. What is this formula? Have you remember this formula? This is the formula of non-central moments about origin a is equal to 0. So, here if you substitute a is equal to 0, you will get x i power r. So, these two formulas are same now x i power r here u i power r which means uh, these are the non-central moments about origin for the variable u i for the variable u simply so that is what uh, you consider h power r into these are the mu r dash for u i am writing in brackets u which are the non-central moments for the variable u that is mu r dash is equal to h power r mu r dash of x. These are the non-central moments for the variable x. Mu r dash of x is nothing but now if you shift the origin and scale then it will be h power r into mu r dash of u. That is non-central moments of the variable u. Which means if you consider if you shift the origin and scale for the variable x then the non-central moments mu r dash the non-central moments of the variable x will be h power r times the non-central moments of the variable u h power r times the non-central moments of the variable u that is what the concept if you shift it is going to be affected h h means we have clearly indicated that A refers shifting the origin, H refers shifting the scale, this refers shifting the scale, this refers shifting the origin. You have to always keep in your mind that A indicates shifting the origin, H indicates shifting the scale. Here H remains, H is going to be there in the formula of mu r dash if you calculated for x h power r times so therefore h remains a is not there therefore it is not affected that is uh, origin if you even though we shift the origin it is not going to be affected do you understand the concept even though if you shift the origin that is if you subtract with a value some for example a then non-central moments are not going to be affected the moments are not going to be affected. That is, it is independent of shifting the origin. Non-central moments are moments, simply. Moments are shifting, the independent of shifting the origin, but not on scale. It is dependent on shifting the, which are dependent on shifting the scale. That is, because H remains. That is what you have to understand. Right? So, this is the concept for non-central moments. Now, you try for central moments. If you, if you consider for central moments, if you consider the same consider concept of central moments, how the central moments are going to be affected? Central moments. I consider the formula mu r is equal to 1 by capital N summation i is equal to 1 to N f i into x i minus x bar the whole power r. That is the formula for mu r, central moments, moments about mean. Okay, right. Now you have calculated x i minus x bar, h into u i minus u bar, substitute here. 1 by capital N, summation i is equal to 1 to N, f i into h into u i minus u bar, the whole power r. Again, h power r is a constant, does not depend on summation i is equal to 1 to n. So, therefore, I am taking outsides. It is equivalent to be h power r into 1 by capital N summation i is equal to 1 to n f i into u i minus u bar whole power r. I need not to explain again. Now, hope you understand. What is this formula? 
वन बै एन समेन ईजल टू वन टू एन एफ इंटू यू मैन यू बार हॉल पवर आर इट इज फार्मुला सेंट्रल मूमेंट अगेन बट द वेरी बट फॉर द वेरियबल यू दीज आर देंट्रल मूमेंट फॉर द वेरियबल एक्स सेंट्रल मूमेंट फॉर द वेरियबल एक्स द ओरिजल फार्मुला फॉर द वेरियबल एक्स Now these are the central moments for the variable u. So therefore, this is which are nothing but mu r of u. This is mu r. This is u. Remember and see, observe clearly and write clearly. So h power the central moments of the variable x are nothing but h power r times the central moments of the variable u, which means. Central moments also not affected by the shifting the origin, and which are affected by the shifting the scale. That is, it's independent of shifting the origin, but which are not uh, uh, independent of shifting the scale, which are dependent on shifting the scale. Therefore, both central. Finally, if you want to conclude, both central and non-central moments uh, are. Uh, independent of shifting the origin but they are not independent that is which are dependent on shifting the scale hope you understand this or this is the this is what effect of changing the origin and scale if you change the origin if you shift the origin and scale and how the moments are going to be affected the final conclusion is the moments are if you shift the origin and scale the moments are independent independent of shifting the origin independent of shifting the origin but they are dependent on shifting the scale it affects by shifting the scale but it does not affect shifting the origin thank you